Welcome to The Astrology Show with your host, Kelly Fox. Each week, Kelly will give you access to the current transits that are a valuable tool which provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has through our sun sign. Understanding the current planetary influences each week can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. Sometimes events in your life may seem completely random, but there is a pattern to the order of these events. One set in motion in part by you and in part by the planets and stars in the sky and their influence on your life here on Earth. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, if you're going to get that promotion, move to a new city, or fall in love, tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance. It can help you anticipate problems before they occur, give you tools to cope with changes, and help you look forward to the wonderful days ahead. Kelly Fox is a professional astrologer and internet pioneer who launched Astrology.com, one of the first and most successful astrology websites. Today, her passion lies with her new site, theastrologer.com, where she brings a modern-day approach to an ancient wisdom. Please join Kelly each week to learn more about how the planets can align for you. Hi there, and welcome to The Astrology Show. I'm your host and astrologer, Kelly Fox. And today I'm going to talk about the lunar eclipse in Libra. That'll take effect on March 23rd, which is Wednesday, this Wednesday. And themes such as relationships, personal and professional relationships, any type of legality, social activity are highlighted during this time. With the lunar eclipse in Libra, that means that the moon will be in Libra and the sun in its opposite sign of Aries. And eclipses have powerful effects on all of us, especially when they connect with our personal planets, such as your sun sign. So find out how this lunar eclipse will affect your sign over the coming months. And at the end of the show, as I do each week, I will go through the weekly horoscope for each sign. There is so much going on this week. The lunar eclipse, of course, being the most influential, but there are so many more influences happening. It's just jam-packed. It's a jam-packed astrological week. And I'm going to break it down throughout the show. But first, in this segment, I want to talk about the solar eclipse in Libra and what that means. So a couple of weeks ago, I discussed the solar eclipse. And the solar eclipse from two weeks ago was in Pisces. And so the theme of the solar eclipse was about new beginnings. But before we can have new beginnings, we need endings. So it was important uh, from two weeks ago through the next few months that we complete things before we move forward into the new cycle. So it's really about endings. Pisces being the last sign of the zodiac is about endings before we can move into a new beginning. So the eclipse of two weeks ago was a solar eclipse and the, the eclipse for this week is a lunar eclipse. And a lunar eclipse is a super-powered full moon. And it's when the Earth is in between the sun and the moon. So basically the Earth is being, it feels like it might be pulled in either direction from the sun and the moon. And that might affect us here on Earth with that same type of feeling that some of us might feel that we're in the middle of something and we're being pulled in two different directions. Now eclipses uh, always come in pairs and sometimes in threesomes. And so what that means is you can't have a solar eclipse without a lunar eclipse. And a solar eclipse equates to a super powerful new moon. And then, as I just said, the lunar eclipse is a supercharged full moon. And so this lunar eclipse in Libra on Wednesday will affect all of us, but more so 
the cardinal signs. And the cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. And especially anybody born during those signs that were born early in the sign. So that's March born Aries, June born Cancers, September born Librans, and December born Capricorns. But really, uh, this, this eclipse and the solar eclipse will affect all of us, um, but more so anybody born under a cardinal sign or anybody that has planets in cardinal signs and especially early in those cardinal signs. Now, as I explained, a lunar eclipse is a supercharged full moon and it's when the Earth is in between the sun and the moon creating an Earth sandwich. And so unlike a solar eclipse, uh, the solar eclipse that we just had two weeks ago uh, lasted about f up to four minutes across Indonesia and the Pacific. But a lunar eclipse can last for hours, hours and hours, and uh, is visible from all over the Earth. And so this particular lunar, lunar eclipse we're having on Wednesday will last four hours and 15 minutes. And so... This also, this lunar eclipse is a prenumbral eclipse, which means that the moon only passes through part of the shadow and it's not a full or total lunar eclipse. Uh, the next total lunar eclipse will take place January 2018. So all the eclipses before that won't be total, they'll just be partial. And that means that um, the moon passes only through a shadow and not fully through the shadow of the earth and the sun. And so astrologically speaking, a lunar eclipse can have an impact on our emotional state. And often, regardless now of the lunar eclipse highlighting relationships, which I'll get into in just a minute, but Normally, a full moon affects relationships anyway. It heightens our emotions. Uh, there's a lot of um, urban myths around full moons and eclipses. And uh, you might have heard the saying, somebody's howling at the moon. Um, apparently, uh, there's more craziness going on in ERs and hospitals during the time of a full moon. Uh, so you can imagine during a lunar eclipse, how much that's amplified or heightened. So this particular lunar eclipse is occurring in Libra. And so Libra is a sign of harmony and striving for balance, refinement, good manners, grace, good taste, art, socializing, relationships, one-on-one, -on -one. Anytime I think of the sign Libra, I think of a beautiful, fancy socialite that has refined manners, uh, good graces, a great network of friends and people, knows all the right things to say, uh, how to set a table beautifully. I think of a, a little bit of the Martha Stewart ways, you know, how to do things gracefully, how to be a gracious hostess. To me, that's the sign of Libra. It will be, the moon will be in Libra and the sun will be in Aries, its opposite sign. And Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and it's Aries to me is the brave warrior. Aries is very courageous, fearless. Uh, I, I always picture firefighters, people on the front lines, people who have courage, racing in, uh, fearless, not worrying about consequences, whereas you have the opposite sign, Libra, which, as I said, is all about social graces, refinement, good manners. So it's the lady, uh, the lady of good taste, whereas Aries is the brave warrior. Now, Libra is the sign of marriage and partnership, whereas Aries is very much a solo or single sign. 
that doesn't mean that people born under that sign are single. It just means they're very independent. So you have independence versus uh, dependence, I guess. So what that means is it's going to be about, for many of us, particularly the, uh, the excuse me, the cardinal signs, it's about finding balance, finding balance in our relationships. It's how much do we give of ourselves versus how much we put into the relationship versus the relationship. So it's basically finding that balance of being in the relationship or having dependence or independence. So for many of us, if we're in a relationship that might not be working out so well, uh, it might be time to move on. Uh, this, this lunar eclipse in Libra is definitely a time of making it or breaking it. So if something or a relationship, and it's not necessarily always a romantic relationship, it could be a professional relationship, a friendship, Anybody who we're close to or we work one-on-one -on -one with, this is what this eclipse is all about. So if a partnership or relationship is not working out at this time, it will be a time to move on. And that will be difficult. Uh, and that's what eclipses are about. It's all about intensity. It's about a time to remember. And uh, throughout life, if you know when eclipses have happened or when you've had major events happen in your life, usually there'd be an, an eclipse around that time. It is very intense, memorable. So for this eclipse, it's all about partnership, relationship, um, instigating and new beginnings. So it's interesting because we had our solar eclipse two weeks ago, which was endings and beginnings. And this lunar eclipse in Aries and Libra, cardinal signs, is all about new beginnings, instigating new changes. So for the next six months, it's time to start afresh. And more about this week and this week's influences after the break. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Come heal yourself. What is healing? Healing is nothing but connecting with your all-knowing higher self that already has solutions to all your problems and is always there to guide you. Through this show, we help you to connect with that you are and tap into that innate potential, you have to transform your life and fly high. Please join me, your host Monica Goyal, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Namaste. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. The truth is, you can't change the world if you're broke. I know, I've tried. Isn't it time you turned your life's calling into a profitable, freedom-based business? I'm Michelle Barr. Join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Success. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM.
Hi there, and welcome back to The Astrology Show. I'm your host, Kelly Fox, and this week I'm talking about the lunar eclipse. March is eclipse season, and not only is there an eclipse this week, which is the big news of astrology typically, but this week we have Jupiter squaring Saturn. And it's not just this week, it's on Wednesday, the day of the eclipse. There's other influences this week as well, but I will break it down for you. I want to jump straight into the Jupiter square Saturn. Now, Jupiter is the planet of expansion and hope and optimism. And we want to uh, broaden our horizons. We feel good, hopeful, optimistic. A square is a challenge. It's 90 degrees. So basically, when two or more planets are 90 degrees apart, it's called a square. And that represents friction, challenges, and tension. And with Saturn, Saturn is the planet of karma. Uh, It's more about contraction. Think of it as the opposite of Jupiter. It's our responsibilities, obligations, duties, it's long-term planning, it's red tape, uh, it's everything that we really don't want to deal with. But on the flip side, uh, the positives of Saturn, the rewards will come later or at a later date. So we have Saturn uh, and Jupiter in a tense alignment And that's on top of the lunar eclipse where the sun and moon are standing opposite each other, not standing, but they're opposite each other or 180 degrees apart from each other. So that's also known as a hard or challenging aspect. So anytime I see Jupiter and Saturn together, that's to me, that's business. So doing business or anything in the business world. So when they're forming a square or a hard aspect, that means that business business dealings this week, particularly on Wednesday, will be challenging. And that is more so for people born uh, in mutable signs. And the mutable signs are Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius and Pisces or really anybody that has planets in those signs. They will be dealing with uh, wanting to expand, but then there's red tape to get through. So it's like uh, Jupiter's like Big Daddy or Santa Claus and battling with severe Saturn, and Saturn's putting strict limits on all the fun, maybe even travel plans, how frustrating that can be. Have you ever been on a trip where you're all excited to go and you're sitting there because there's a delay due to something bigger or um, maybe not just weather patterns but some, some other type of issue? Um, so it's like you're ready for adventure, you're ready to take that step out with Jupiter but then something holds you back with Saturn. So that's what this week may feel like, particularly when it comes to business. And with the eclipse on top of it, uh, the eclipse is about the sun and moon in opposition, and it's how we relate to others. It's our independence versus being dependent on other people. So that's the that's the influence for Wednesday. So with Jupiter squaring off with Saturn, Um, it's sort of like interfering with what we really want to do. Um, But it will be a good test or a good measure of our maturity because Saturn is all about maturity. It's about how we handle things or the wisdom that comes to us the older we get. So it's sort of like we're struggling to um, embrace both the big and the small, the inner and the outer The answer, of course, is somewhere in the middle. And again, that's a theme of the eclipse because the sun and moon are are at odds, but we have to find that balance. So this week, the key word is all about balance. Um, Definitely finding that balance, finding that middle ground. Um, We might feel that there's restricted growth because we're ready to reach and branch out, but something's squashing us down, an authority or a rule or some type of restriction. We can't just run off through the tulips 
we have to, you know, take one step at a time and perhaps ask permission from some sort of teacher or authority or an older person if we can do that. I always think is with the Jupiter Saturn square that's happening on Wednesday with the eclipse uh, that we could be affected by corporate downsizing in some way. So we might hear in the news that there's some type of Fortune 500 company that might be downsizing in some way. We might also be expecting more responsibilities at work um, due to others' losses and we might be forced to adjust to strict timelines, too many rules, guilt and just plain old bad luck because Jupiter being the planet of luck and good fortune, when it's in a challenging aspect to Saturn, it may feel like there's some bad luck going around. Um, but really, if we can develop uh, some perspective and avoid the confusion or um, high expectations, it's best to set realistic expectations this week, particularly around any work type of matters, um, it might help us deal with the challenges that could lay ahead. Uh, dealing with authority will definitely be a theme for many of us, especially for the cardinal signs which the eclipses are in, and that's Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. So learning to get on with authority and towing the line will be crucial this week. Um, developing maturity or using our maturity and patience to get us through times like these. Also on Wednesday, it will be about communication. Communication. Now, communication, because the sun will be forming a conjunction to Mercury. And when the sun comes together with Mercury, it's all about communication. Now today, Mercury, the planet of the mind and communication, moved into Aries. So when Mercury comes together with Aries, there's a lot of quick and flowing thoughts. We don't like to dwell or ponder on any one thought for too long. So when the sun is together with Mercury... It's about thinking quickly, not holding on to something for too long and charging ahead without any sort of thought for consequences. So Mercury is part of this lunar eclipse. So Mercury is influencing the lunar eclipse this week. So the key words, as I said before, is balance and also communication. It's going to be very important to think before you speak this week because when Mercury's in Aries, we tend to blurt something out with really thinking it, without really thinking it through. So we get caught up in the moment, very excited and perhaps just blurting something out. Now, why it's really important to, to stop and think before you speak because of the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is about facing off with somebody. Uh, we might be doing it with a smile, on our, a smile on our face, but it's really important to really think through something before you just blurt it out. Um, it's going to be very important to do that because of the lunar eclipse, but also because Jupiter squaring Saturn, which is issues around anything to do with career or work. Now, the shadow side of Aries with Mercury in Aries and the sun in Aries is impatience, anger and selfishness. Tempers tend to shorten while the sun and Mercury are in Aries and we will need to make an effort to be tactful and considerate of others' feelings. And we will be forced to if we don't think of that for ourselves because the moon in gracious Libra is all about thinking about other people's feelings and how everybody else is and making sure everybody else is okay. Um, of course, the best way to blow off some steam is to get in some good, solid exercise and preferably with a workout buddy 
because the moon in air in Libra is all about the other person. Word games can be fun as well. Uh, Mercury in Aries gets bored easily, and or with the moon in Libra, it's all about it's an intellectual sign. So word games could be fun to um, or any sort of mental activity uh, to ex be able to express ourselves and and burn off a little steam with this uh, intense astrological energy. Uh, it's good to have a clear mind this week because it's uh, all about communication and really, really listening and paying attention. Sometimes with this Mercury in Aries uh, as part of this lunar eclipse, we want to race ahead and we're not really thinking things through. What we need to do is make sure that there's always um, a plan B in place. Um, and it's important to listen. So it's good to bounce ideas off other people, brainstorming and working with other people. It's an excellent time for writing, um, any sort of journaling, um, blogging, uh, any sort of fiction or non-fiction writing letters, correspondence. Um, take the opportunity to read or study or do any sort of research. Um, it's a good time to learn as well. Uh, when we study and learn, we can do it with a buddy, but it's also favourable to really, you know, absorb lots of information at this time. Uh, try not to delve too deeply into one type of subject or topic because this energy is all about um, quick tidbits of information. So when I come back after the break, I want to continue with this week's astrological influences. And there are quite a few and a lot around Mercury and communication this week, finding the balance. More after the break. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow, letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author on The O-Spot, the O Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on the O Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Have you bought into the idea that you have to work hard for your money, that business is hard? I will share some dynamic access consciousness tools to get you out of your own way so you can create a business that actually succeeds. Join me, Simone Millicers, on the Joy of Business at 4 p.m. Mondays Eastern. Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Hi there, welcome back to the Astrology Show. I'm your host and astrologer, Kelly Fox. And just before the break, I was talking about all the astrological influences going on this week. It's a crazy busy week. 
and I talked about Saturn turning retrograde, where it will be retrograde until August 13th. And again, it continues with the theme of contraction versus expansion, which is happening on Wednesday with the Jupiter square Saturn aspect. So this is all about uh, wanting to take a step out, but being held back. It's also the political scape going on, the conservatives versus the liberals. It definitely is Jupiter square Saturn time. But in this segment, I want to talk uh, about your weekly horoscope and how the intense lunar eclipse is affecting your sign this week. So Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, and Aries is part of this lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is a super full moon where the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Libra. And for all you rams out there, or if you know any rams, this is all about you and your independence, your freedom versus your relationships and feeling tied down perhaps or wanting to broaden your horizons but being held back by your responsibilities, your obligations and your sense of duty. So what's important for you at this time would be finding a balance with all your relationships. If you're a bull, a Taurus, or you have a Taurus in your life, this lunar eclipse will be triggering your intuition and your day-to-day -day life. So it's important to find a balance between um, using logic versus using your gut to make decisions. So again, finding the balance between... Um, being practical and, and looking at the facts and figures versus going with a gut instinct. Um, it's also important for you at this time to pay attention to your diet and fitness. Don't let that lapse because uh, the area of health will be affected for you. And if you're not feeling so good, I strongly urge you to get a checkup just with your doctor for peace of mind. Um, there's a lot of uh, flexibility at this time, so go ahead and make sure you take care of yourself. If you're a Gemini or born under the sign of the twins, this eclipse will highlight friends and acquaintances and your social networks and who you know and who you're connected to. This might be a great time for all you single Geminis out there to meet somebody, to go out and have a good time. Accept all social invitations. Get out there and be the life of the party as you usually are. If you're a Cancer, Cancer the Crab, born under the sign of the Crab, what will be highlighted for you this week under the lunar eclipse will be home and family versus career and vocation. You might be burning the candle at both ends. So it's important to find that balance. If your boss asks you to work back overtime, that might be a bit of a struggle at home. There might be some issues there. So it's important that you divide your time equally between home and family and your career. If you're Leo the Lion, this lunar eclipse, it's important, extremely important with what you say. Communication will be everything. It'll be very important to think through your words carefully. This is also a time if you are planning any sort of travel, uh, this could be life changing for you. Any sort of travel might broaden your horizons more than what you ever thought was possible. Um, it will be important to find the distinction between details and ideals. Try not to just live in the conceptual realm, but also pay attention to the facts and figures. This is a time to sweat the small stuff. If you're a Virgo, this time will all be about your financial life. Um, money, what's yours and what's ours. This will be important to 
Understand what's yours and what you share with others. And so it will be important to um, look at your finances and um, deal with anything that might be outstanding. And if you can find a mix of um, having all your eggs in one basket or diversifying, definitely get a mix of both these strategies. It will be the way to go. If you're a Libra, this eclipse will be in your sign. The moon will be in your sign of the lunar eclipse, which means that your emotions will be highly charged. And what will be important is not being too clingy with other people, but finding a nice balance between independence and dependence. Your relationships will be extremely important over this time. And if there is a relationship that is not working out for you, it might be best to let go and move on. If you're a Scorpio, this is a time to pay attention to your dreams. They might be very vivid. Listen to your intuition. Your dreams may be giving you a message. Also, if there's any sort of health concern, go to a doctor. Get it checked out. Don't let it go. If you're a Sagittarius, this is a great time for fun and games. Accept all social invitations. Tap into your social network for opportunities and join groups of like-minded people. This is a great time for romance for single and coupled Sagittarians, especially with people from different cultures. Taking a risk may pay off. If you're a Capricorn, this lunar eclipse this week will present a challenge when it comes to finding a balance between your home and work lives. Try not to get too overwhelmed or bogged down in details with the many options you'll have. So this will be important to find an equilibrium between work and home life. If you're an Aquarian, the lunar eclipse this week will have you thinking about escaping the daily grind, which you probably do anyway. Um, faraway places and foreign people may be a catalyst in your life over the next few months. Uh, travel and traveling and travel opportunities may be life-changing at this time. Take care with any sort of legal issues or arguments with siblings or neighbors could be a problem. It really is better to take the high road rather than get embroiled in situations that could have been in avoided. And finally, if you're a lovely Pisces, your focus at this time will be on money and finances. Uh, your sectors of intimacy and closeness will be triggered and you may crave a deeper connection with those nearest and dearest to you, but others may want more freedom. So you will have to find a compromise at this time and it's important to not give everything away, but to find that balance between what is yours and what you share with others. Try not to cling too tightly. So that was your weekly horoscope. And just to recap for this week, very intense time for many of us, particularly for the cardinal signs, which, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn. So we have a lunar eclipse this week in Libra. And so what that means is that we may have to face others with opposing viewpoints, but it will all be all about finding balance and compromise. And with the moon being in Libra, that shouldn't be too difficult to do because that sort of energy is about grace and refinement as well as diplomacy and good manners whereas you have the opposite sign of Aries which is more about the brave courageous warrior but if you flip that around the shadow of Aries or this eclipse will be about impatience aggression and frustration and anger so it's very important for all of us to take the high road so this eclipse highlights finding a balance and if some of us are in relationships and they may not be working so well, 
not just personal, but even professional or even your best friend. It might be a time to let go and move on because there might just be too much angst and frustration, especially because today Mercury, planet of the mind and communication, moved into Aries. So we might not be thinking before we speak. Blurting something out is probably more of the theme. And so the Mercury is connected into the lunar eclipse of the week. So this is a time where we're not thinking through or thinking through what we're saying and things just come to mind and they get blurted out. The other influence is Jupiter squaring Saturn. So it's more about liberal views uh, against conservative views and that's definitely happening on the political landscape at this time. So there's, there's going to be a lot of friction. Let's watch the news, see what happens. It's hard to imagine that there's going to be more going on than what's previously been going on, but it's only going to build and more so under the influence of this eclipse. So join me for next week's show where I will go through the weekly horoscopes and I have invited a special guest on my show to talk with me about astrology and astrology all over the